Welcome back to my channel. I have two pairs of uh, Red Wing Blacksmith. And these are the two. Uh, these are the 3343 and these ones are the 3345. Um, I was asked to do a comparison video between these two. Um, so I will do the best I can. The uh, main difference you can see, it's uh, absolutely the color. And these ones are the copper rough and tough. And you get these uh, in the um, Red Wing Iron Rangers as well, the same leather. And as you can see, they already have a lot of character. And um, if I push my finger through here, you can see it uh, start to change. So after some wear and um, sunlight and so on, they would totally change uh, how they look. Um, but the, the leather is really cool. It's uh, Sometimes you can see the changes uh, almost daily when you are using them. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, the black ones here. The cool part about these ones are they are brown on the inside, so we um, get patina that looks like uh, this one, this here. You can see the brown is uh, shining through, so if you are wearing them and you get some scuffs, the brown will shine through, and uh, over time it will look uh, pretty cool, so uh, if, you, if you like uh, patina. so. And um, not everybody is a fan of that, so, uh, but I think that's cool. Uh, you can see. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, these blacksmiths here, these ones, are uh, prob probably the most comfortable uh, Red Wing boots I have. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, because the last is the same on the blacksmith as the uh, Red Wing Iron Rangers. So it uh, shouldn't be any difference uh, actually. But um, I have to say these boots, they were uh, much stiffer than uh, the Copper Rough and Tough right out of the box so uh and they uh, and the leather felt kind of dry so i after just one week i applied um, uh, some conditioner on them just to soften the leather a little bit um, and uh, that's a long time ago now so uh, and i haven't used any conditioner after that and this uh, blacksmith i haven't uh, I haven't uh, conditioned yet and the leather feels uh, soft and nice and uh, I brush off my boots uh, each week as I tend to uh, rotate. I have around nine pairs of boots now and uh, I wear them for one week and I switch and wear another pair for one week. So uh, for me to get some patina on my boots it's, uh, it will take some time because of, uh, I rotate uh, every week. And um, as you see in my other videos, I'm uh, in that uh, patina contest on Instagram, where I'm wearing my Dundas boots. So I will uh, mainly use them for the next, next um, six months or so. So uh, I won't be wearing these uh, Red Wings that much during that period but um, winter is coming and it's uh, starting to get cold outside so um, and these boots are not warm at all they are pretty cold to be honest and these um, mini vibram soles are uh, can be really slippery if it's um, ice outside but uh, on the snow it's okay, but uh, we actually don't have the same winters uh, here anymore as we had when I was little. So uh, uh, it's really on and off 
with the the snow, but uh, it's uh, it's cold anyway. So uh, if you want to see more videos, uh, please uh, leave a comment. I uh, I I will try to upload the uh, videos every week anyway. Uh, so please, uh, if it's uh, something you want me to talk about, please uh, let me know and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye bye.